Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm glad you are here today. Um, I want to talk about a very important part of graduate school application, and that is statement of purpose. Statement of purpose. Statement of purpose is a very important part of your graduate school application. And that is what I want to talk about today. What is statement of purpose? Right, it is, it is one of the most important documents for your graduate school application. All right, in, in your statement of purpose, you discuss the reason for applying to the chosen school, the program, why do you want to apply to that program, what do you want to, you know, why do you choose the school? your motivation for graduate school, why do you want to pursue graduate school education, why do you want to further your education, the problem you intend to solve through research, you know, the part of the degree, the, you know, the part, the degree, or the role the degree will play in your career plan, okay? And also, you are, you know, your SOP is unique. You find a lot of templates out there that will give you hints on what to write, how to write it, the format you should use. There are tons of it, okay. But the fact is that your SOP is unique. Is unique, okay. Even if you are using any templates out there, you should always remember that you are writing your own story, okay. And you should avoid, you know, repeating what is already on your CV. Your SOP is an opportunity for you to tell a story, tell the tell the um, review committee something they have not found in other documents you submitted to them. Right? It's not it's not a place for you to start repeating what you have in your CV already or your grade in school. Say you know I had A's in these courses, I did this course, I did that course, and all those stuff, but tell a comparing story okay i'll be using my my own sop as an example for to show you how you can structure your sop or the content the like uh, you know content that should be in your sop right so here i have a, a sample sop i've written in the past while i was still applying for grad school right so i've made it you know section it paragraphs i talk about different things on different paragraphs and i've you know kind of given it a title here so the first paragraph here is where i talked about my passion motivation for the program and the program statement right if you read through you see kind of the passion my motivation to study engineering in the first place why did i choose civil engineering when there are other tons of other engineering disciplines I could have gone for, right? So I talked about that and I talked about the problem or the challenge in my country, which was part of the motivation for me to pursue graduate school in order to find solutions and sustainable solutions to these problems, okay? And if, second paragraph is where i talked about so i talked about my previous academic challenges and break and breakthrough okay so most time you you face some difficulties while you're in school right and you were able to you know to keep up and still be able to maintain a good academic performance this are it is good to highlight some of this in your sop all right because it shows that if you're in grad school, if you face any challenge, you'll still be able to withstand because grad school is challenging. There are sometimes you feel like, oh, I don't think I can do this anymore. But the fact that you have faced similar challenges in the past, you know, gives the admission or review committee that, oh, this person can withstand the pressure of graduate school. Okay. So it's good to highlight that if you have it and you know to put point that out so why at what stage do you decide that you're going to pursue a graduate school um, education or you want to further your education to graduate school at what point if you can you know talk about that and what preparation 
have you been making towards the academia do you want to you know go into the academia what experience you have in the past related to the academic industry i know that you can also point that out you can see how i highlighted that in this paragraph here and that will kind of send a strong message that oh this person has experienced the graduate school environment or the academic environment because most importantly in your graduate school when you apply especially in the u.s you are either applying to get a teaching assistantship or research assistantship all right and as a research assistantship what you'll be doing most of the time is teaching a particular course grading setting question assignment doing everything you know handling your own class and all those stuff right and you it's good if you can demonstrate that you have taught students in the past you know that shows that oh this person has experience in teaching and it won't be difficult for him or her to adapt to the teaching environment okay so if you can point that out it goes a long way to to give you a high chances of getting into the program okay I also talked about seminars I've attended and how those you know ignited my passion for teaching research and developing innovative solutions to approaching problems or innovative solutions to problems so the next is where I talk about my preparation effort I've made for instance I have I have um, applied for the Commonwealth scholarship I've won the Commonwealth scholarship in the past I talked about that why I want why did I went apply for the Commonwealth scholarship right and that is an important thing to highlight if you have that experience even if you don't have that experience you can talk about different scholarship you have applied to in the past and the reason why you apply to those scholarships and you know that even though you didn't win those scholarship you are, you are not relenting on your on your goal or your dream of you know pursuing a graduate education in order to provide solution to this problem and that so those are the things that you can highlight in another paragraph as this so you can also talk about your research experience so at here i highlighted my major research experience that's related to what i want to go and do in the in the, in the grad school right this is during my masters the research experience i gathered so if you apply with your bachelor's you can talk about research experience as an undergrad what research do you work on how does that relate what skills do you gather from it how would that be uh, of advantage while you are in grad school okay don't just state i did this i did that you know those things might be in your cv already but just put more insight into it and that will make it you know compelling all right so i also continue to talk about the challenges we have in the transportation system today and how research can help in providing solutions to that then it is important for you to highlight the reason why you have chosen the school uh, the reason why I've chosen that program in the particular in that particular school, okay. If you have chosen University of Alabama, why do you choose University of Alabama? What are the qualities of the school, the program curriculum, and all that? You can put those stuff here, and that shows that you have done a bit of background research. Mine wasn't that very detailed or you know well written out, but you can improve on that and you know write about what attracted you to the school you know just stuff like that and probably talk about inclusivity you know equality equity uh, inclusion and diversity and all that so you can talk about that and also if you have you know reached out to a faculty you can mention the faculty name and even if you have not reached out to a faculty you can talk about the faculty or the professor you are interested in working with all right because the committee that are going to review your application most of them are the faculties in the in that area in that area you are applying to so they will be reading through your applications and if you have mentioned their name 
they will kind of develop interest in you and they can recommend you oh that we should take this person all right so one way of doing that apart from sending cold emails which most times you might not get a response or you can you might get a response still you can mention a, the name of that professor in particular in your sop all right it can be one or two professors it, don't, it might not have to be very specific that oh, i'm just interested in this person you can say so i, I I, I'm interested in this research area because of this, and this professor is working on that. I would like to work with him. I also have interest in working in this related area. And, you know, kind of put it in a good perspective, right? And they will be interested. And you might even end up, you know, being supervised by two professors for your research. So they might find a common ground between their, their research that they can co, you know, advise you in your program so that is also very important and apart from academic you know talks and all that you can also talk about what you like to do during your hobby because grad school can be so so you know demanding and sometimes you need to relax do other things that can add more flavor to your experience in graduate school so here I, I talk about other things you can include in your SOP. Apart from you know the stuff I've included in mind, SOP is unique and different. Okay, so you might want to include some of these details in your SOP. Your research is your industry experience is very important. If you are coming from the industry to graduate school, you should leverage on your experience in the industry. What have you done in the industry? Is there skills you are going to bring from industry that will help you in the, in grad school? Or also there are skills you can bring that kind of provide more values to the research group that you are going to be working with, right? Those are the things you can also highlight in your SOP. And if there are challenges that you have seen or problems you have seen in the industry where you work, the sector where you work and you feel like oh if we can research more on this thing we can find a an optimal solution to it okay you can also talk about those challenges and how you want to find solution to them through research okay and also talk about the few courses you took that actually created the interest in you to pursue a graduate program in social in social area for instance, if you are in civil engineering, for instance, you took some courses in structures and, you know, those courses expose you to, you know, the, the, some certain area of structure and you become so inquisitive that you want to further do research to understand or to develop better ways of solving a problem in that, in that field. So those are the things that you can also include and can also talk about, as I said in the beginning, the parts that the degree is going to play your career plan okay so these are just an overview of what your sop should contain and if you if you go to uh if you google for instance you go to google and um, you search for sops uh, chemical engineering phd for instance you find you go to images for instance you find a lot of templates scattered throughout the internet right that gives that can give you some directions on what to write what to put where to put it and all that you can search for your program let's say so it will be public health all that so you get a lot of samples you can you can read through some of them, get some insight, but what you have to know is that SOP, Statement of Purpose, is unique, right? So you have to write your own story, tell your own story, and in most cases, you might, you know, need to check the school you are applying. I know there are some schools that kind of give you um, a some information on what they want to see in your SOP, right? Some school do that. So if you're applying to such school, it is advisable that you you try and see what they want you to include in your SOP before you start writing it. Okay. So so check these things out. 
sit down, put them together, compose a good SOP, and that will add value to your application. All right, so if you have any question, you can ask in the comment section, and that will be it for now on SOP. All right. I wish you all the best as you continue to prepare for your applications and enjoy the rest of your weekend.